Sana mo dami na ako matatanong eh. Ubusan na ako ng kaya mo dala ko. Oh naman, oh naman. Oh naman. Yeah, of course there will always be a lot of questions. Carl. Okay. What if I have Oh, what if I have 10 million pesos? Wow. And then and then that 10 million pesos What do I do? Do I buy one condo worth 10 million okay. or do I buy two condos of 5 million? Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> <laughs> Okay lang, live raw oh and gosh. cut. Live raw and cut, ano? I guess uh, it's not about the property. Okay. Meaning, if you find the property and after assessing it, uh, uy, maganda, this is for rental, right? So if it's for rental, your market segment should be somebody who wants to rent, diba? Either it's in a student area or it's in an office area, BPO, Pogo. So it really depends. Eh. Kunwari, there's a property na, uy, 10 million to, pero the demand is so strong. Then go for the 10 million. If the property is 30 million because the demand is for big sizes, expat, then go for it. If the market size is the same, uy, malakas to, kunwari, like a, a hotel 101. If there's a hotel room, it's for 5 million. Then go for it because it's a tourism business. Eh. Pero vis a vis that demand is the same, Where's the practicality okay. that you will earn more na isa lang i-renovate mo or versus two? What's, oh, a, what's a rule okay, of thumb? Okay. okay, let's say same market size, same market segment. Will I go for 10 million, one property or 5 million? Alam mo, depende sa personality. Uh, personally, I think I would go for the 10 million for, mainly for ease of management. I don't want to monitor, monitor two separate properties to get the same income. I would rather have just one property getting the same income, di ba? But, uh, syempre, not everybody can 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 digest that kind of approach. Yung iba naman they want two smaller properties para it spread out. But a uh, good question Marvin because when I was younger during my early years as a property guy, I would do the small properties muna to get to get my feet wet. Yon. So if you're still not comfortable and it depends on your your ano, your overall excess liquidity. So it really really what's what's comfortable for you. Ah, yeah. so, so it may, may comfort level then no? pero given that uh, say I've already set my sights on getting this type of property, uh, is it safe to assume that it doesn't mean that Mura ko kunin ko lesser risk, mas mal mas mahal ko kunin ko mas malaki risk. Oh, nun. okay. The, assuming kasi that the market size is the same, di ba? Pero of course, acquisition cost plays a factor then, di ba? Kunwari, if you buy a condo at let's say a price point of 200,000 per okay. square versus a condo na 150,000 per square, di ba? Okay. 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 So, oh, na ako na tayo. As raw as it can be, Carl. As raw as it can be. But, uh, hmm. but it's very complicated. Eh? Okay. Even if this property is more, okay. Pero syempre, the age of the building is old na. Hmm. Sometimes, mas feel mo rin yung mas bago na property. Kaling mo, humiwas ka pa ng ano. <laughs> okay, so we're now going to the stands. Uh,